Hey everybody, how's it going? Now, um, it's been a while since I did a, I want to say a while, it's been a, a couple of days since I did a uh, another waste management video. Also, I'm going to, uh, well, try this, try this look for a little while. Since I, I got my laptop over here, I might as well record it. So, let's talk a little bit about, a little bit more about waste management. Now, in the last video, I talked a little bit about uh, going to Florida, uh, what I did in Florida, and, um, you know, all that good stuff. Now, for those that, I'm, I'm going to try to answer as many questions as I can. And uh, the first question being, why don't I um, say the names? Of the place uh, that I went to and uh, a couple reasons uh, first I'd rather keep it uh, out of the loop I'm not entirely sure if I already said where I uh, at the time where I was going uh, and uh, second I think there was a non-disclosure agreement about it that I I, I can't remember um, what it said but I know like one of the things that was in it was like uh, we can't tell exactly what happened in the train facility but really all we did was learn how to drive a truck and then pass pass a couple of tests that's really all we did I don't know if that's breaking the uh, non-disclosure agreement or what but that's really all we did there's like no secret to driving a trash truck so you know at the end of the day, just, you know, whatever. Um, so, um, what I didn't get to say, uh, this happened sometime before um, I went to Florida, but I had injured my foot um, by running, over, uh, running a can over my foot and let me tell you it did not feel good not one bit <laughs> so um you know it, it it was a it was a bad week i guess that week uh, i did end up recovering like a couple days after um but i i wasn't sitting at home um i was pretty much working straight after but with a very noticeable limp. I think I had ran, I I know I ran like my my big toe over, but I think it was like my big toe and, and like uh, part of my foot. And that's, it, it, it's heavy. So, you know, it's, it's it doesn't feel good. And um, yeah, so that was something I wasn't very fond of. I know I had to like, before um, I started working there, I know I had to go get like, uh, like some uh, steel, steel toe boots or shoes or something like that, because I didn't have any. So I had to use my dad's boots for the longest time um, until like right before I left, uh, we finally went out and got my got myself like my own personal pair of boots. Even though they were waste management was literally about to give me um, these boots. Uh, matter of fact, these specific boots um, are my waste management boots. So yeah. Uh, they've uh, been with me pretty much ever since, and, uh, well, I still have them. If they want to come get them from me, door's right there. Come, come get them. But uh, after Florida, I pretty much had to start learning my route. Now, for the first week or two, I wasn't running um, all of my routes. I was helping out with my mentor, who I'll name... Um, Donovan. I'll, I'll name him Donovan. Uh, so I was working with my mentor Donovan here and um, and uh, 
we were pretty much kind of doing our route Monday and Tuesday, and then Wednesday and Thursday we did we were helping with uh, somebody else's route, and then uh, I can't remember what I did Friday. I think I was with somebody else Friday, and then um, the next week we were kind of doing st like still starting my routes, but still like helping other people out. We didn't officially start my route until two weeks after, um, two to three weeks after I came back from Florida. Not to also mention that the routes changed a month after I came back from Florida. So, you know, there was that. I had to deal with um, a few add ons to the routes. Um, the only route that wasn't changed was the horrendous Tuesday route, which I'll get into here in a second. Now, the place that I uh, was traveling in, we'll name the main place um, Wildrow. Now, yeah, so the city that I was working, or that, that this waste management place was in, was called, or was it called Wardrow, of course, I'm naming it Wardrobe, but, but it's located in Wardrobe. It's off of the, uh, the main street. So we're in Wardrobe, uh, starting out. And uh, Monday's route, we got to get... <coughs> we got to go along, um, along this highway, um, Highway 92, over towards a city in which I will name... Um, August. So we went towards August, um, and uh, we basically just we start our route in uh, in this little neighborhood on Mondays. So it was, it was I wouldn't say a little neighborhood. It was more or less a uh, like a spread out area of houses within that area. So. We want, to, we want to collect every single house in that area. It's just whoever has us. So we would go like over here, turn right, go all the way down here, back up here, keep going all the way down, back up there, and then come out. And then, you know, basically this, this was the entire neighborhood. So we just go literally all over the place in, um, in August. So, <clears throat> so we finish up this first area, uh, we move on to the next area, uh, which is called uh, Wardrow Road, or it's the name of the city and road. So we get on Wardrow Road, we do um, a few neighborhoods on the side, go up past uh, inter the, the interstate, uh, collect, collect the area, then go back out go in another neighborhood and start doing uh, a few things in there, go back out to Wardrow Road, go all the way down, do whatever neighborhoods on the left side of, uh, of this road. And um, it, it was basically all over the place. That was pretty much um, this route that I was doing. Uh, there was... Um, I don't think there was ever a time on our Monday routes where we would pack out and we would have to go back to the dump and then um, basically dump the crap, grab a bite to eat, and then keep going. Because I, I, I well, for one, um, it'd take us a good um, 10 minutes just to get back to the main facility and then another 10 minutes just to get back to the route. It took about um, five minutes just to get to the first neighborhood. So by the time we would, if we were to pack out, we would be either almost done or like just about to get done. And it'd be like, man, we, we can't fit anymore. We got to freaking go. But we have like maybe uh, 20 houses. I do distinctly remember um, we had to do this one big like community, like this this big uh, residential community. 
but again, you know, it wouldn't be like every single house yet. It's it would still be, um, you know, it, it would still be kind of spread out. We would still have like a, this area is completely waste management, and we'd have uh, maybe ten cans in the next uh, area of the neighborhood. And then we'd have like one street to go down and then finish off the Monday route. And then go back to um, wardrobe to, uh, to end Monday shift. Tuesday's shift is, was the longest, uh, or not shift, Tuesday's route is the longest route um, of any of the routes in, in that specific area. And I really, really hated uh, waking up every morning and knowing that, oh, God, I'm going to be finishing um, at around 8 or something. I do remember the very first time I did this Tuesday route um, that we ended up finishing it at 10 p.m. with without a 30-minute break. And let me just tell you guys something. As a truck driver, we are required by law to take a 30-minute break. And it is also required under uh, waste management that you are required to take a 30-minute break. doesn't matter what you do with it, just as long as you're not running the truck, uh, you're not driving the truck. You're not doing any kind of work for 30 consecutive minutes. So there was really none of that going on. And uh, there would be times where, um, you know, where after we had packed out uh, in our first, like, big area, because when we start off doing our Tuesday route, we would go on a road called Tooth, well, what I'm going to be calling it, Toothpick Road. And um, this road, you literally have to go into every single neighborhood on that road, or every single road that's off of this road, and pick up whatever's there. That was literally our area. And we would usually finish up that one specific area at around um, 3 o'clock, 3 or 4 o'clock. And then after we get done with that, we would go all the way back. Um, and, and it wasn't that far. It was it was about uh, five minutes from the from the way end of this road. Go all the way back to um, to the main area, and then uh, or to to the dump, dump it out, and then continue. So um, it it was. It's very bad. So, you know, after this toothpick road, we would go on another um, road, road kind of area um, called, or that I'm going to call a New Road. And we want to, we would, uh, thankfully, we wouldn't have to go like all the way down this fucking road, or I would just probably would have quit on the spot but um um i do know that on this route we'd have to pick up two ballparks one of them was on toothpick road the other one was off of new road so um so yeah we uh, I, I remember we have to uh, we had a, a few neighborhoods of ours that we had to get, um, and uh, I remember, um, I think, one neighborhood where every house was ours, but it was like maybe, I want to say maybe 10 houses, and it was like a very small road, and I'd have to like go in. Um, pull into this guy's driveway and then back up to the last house and then pick up this can, this guy's can, um, this guy's can, and then go up and then 
pick up the rest of that little area across the street. Technically, it is part of one community, but I don't uh, It was just a dumb area, I guess. Um, but yeah, we, it's, uh, it, it was really, really stupid. This, this one freaking route on a goddamn Tuesday, or, well, just a route in general, just to be, like, long enough to, you know, basically tell the manager, hey, just to let you know, I can assure you that, uh, there's going, there's probably going to be a few cannons, uh, missing, so... Just, just let you know. And we work with tablets. So, you know, and these tablets are updated by the driver. But the thing is, is that waste management, um, whenever a new house gets put on, it would always be first instead of, you know, trying to get it to where I can do my route instead of just going, oh, it's, we, we just can't remember that we got to go on this road, but I, I unintentionally, you know, forget to do things because I was always used to not going on specific roads and then some house on this one specific road, um, it's put on the route and I would miss it like all month long and not even realizing it because it's not on the, it's not um, where it's supposed to be on the tablet. It would always be first, and I would always forget about it because I never get on that road. So, you know, it's something that I really, really um, hated about this route. So, Wednesday's route is probably um, my favorite trash route. Um, Wednesday, we would stay in, um, in the wardrobe area, and, uh, we would get on, um, this road called Sevens, so, or that I'm calling it Sevens, so we'd get on Sevens, and, uh, we'd pick up this neighborhood on the right, and then go up, and then pick up another road, go up. Again, down this road, pick up whatever's on this side, go in another neighborhood, pick up whatever's in this neighborhood, go back, and then keep going down um, this road to basically pick up, go to the stop sign, take a left, go down. Uh, there's a can right here, and then we'd go in this little area, pick up whatever's in there. It's, it circles around, so it goes back out to this main road. Keep going down this way. Um, go up this this one road, um, pick up the two cans that are there, um, and then by the time we'd go uh, go back out, the other guy would, would meet me by um, one of the cans on the, on the side of the road. I go up, uh, get this other can, or he'd throw me that can and get the other can. Um, and then basically, uh, just do that. It, it was a fairly, I want to say like very, very dangerous situation, but you know, to the point where we're technically not allowed to pick up on the other side of the road, but you know, we weren't coming back. So what are we supposed to do at that point? Just go up and then come back and then turn around again or do whatever. I'm not doing that. So, you know, what the fuck ever. Um... So yeah, I know, uh, I distinctly remember on the Wednesday route that after we get done with the first kind of like area, we would be near capacity. Um, so what I would usually do is either stop for lunch or we'd keep going until we pack out and then after we um, we, we'd basically just have lunch, <clears throat> go dump, have our 30 minute break, and um, we'd still get done at around 3 or 4 p.m. 
this is one of the only routes where we would, um, where, you know, we were able to have a 30 minute break and enjoy it. So, you know, it was very, very, um, very nice for once. So, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. So, I do remember, um, we pick up three whole neighborhoods, uh, on this route. It was, I think it was three. Yeah. It's three whole neighborhoods where we would pick up every single house. So every, every, <laughs> and I dreaded doing that because, um, you know, since it was just me and one other guy, I would always have to pull past the next can, get out, throw some cans, and then um, basically just help out, be the uh, other helper and whatnot. So, you know, it was whatever at the end of the day. The Thursday route is probably the most annoying route, and that's mostly because it, you, we used to get done with the Thursday route at around 3 p.m. They added um, this guy who I will call um, Camera. <laughs> they added a portion of Camera's route um, to the third uh, to our Thursday route. So we would have to do not only our route, but we would have to go up and then do his portion of the route. They basically just tacked on this area because we would always finish too early. And I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck ever at this point. So, so now instead of finishing at three, we would finish at seven, sometimes eight just really depends on um, how fast we were going. It would almost always be sunset by the time we'd finish. So, you know, it was, it was very, very annoying. And there was really nothing we can do about it. We, I would literally be trying my best. Then come springtime, um, you know, we'd always have this one area where we would always make fun of because it's like, we got to get that grass. And when I mean that, I mean like these guys at like maybe two or three houses, their trash cans would be full of grass and their lawn would look so freaking beautiful. I wish I could share pictures with it to you guys. It was just so, I, I love that freaking house. I love their, their yawn. And I was able to, uh, you know, tell them, you know, as much as I hate, um, hate dealing with, uh, with the grass, I fucking love your lawn. Well, I didn't say specifically that. I love your, your lawn. So, you know, just throwing that out there. Uh, Thursday route, we would still, we would still, uh, stay at around the, uh, wardrobe area. Uh, but we, we would also enter uh, another kind of area called, um, or uh, what well, I will call, Hikesville. So we would um, like journey from Wardrow, pick up whatever was in this one neighborhood, um, and then journey to um, Hikesville, and then pick up whatever we had to do on our route in Hikesville and then pick up the extra route on camera's route. <clears throat> um, what I specifically hate about this route is, um, is every time uh, they, they put me in a truck that recently, or that had recycling the day before, the guy just either didn't have time to go dump it, which is insane, or just didn't want to dump it. So, you know, if you had time to, like, if, if you were able to go back to wardrobe at 3 o'clock, then you had time to go all the way to the recycling area, which the only one that was close to us 
was um, near, uh, and I'll specifically say this city, Alpharetta, which was crazy. It's like a fucking 20 to 30 minute area, uh, 20 to 30 minute drive just to get from Wardrow all the way to freaking Alpharetta. And it, it was insane. And it's kind of what I really hated about the, uh, the, the, the last route, Friday's route. But before we get to that, um, I want to continue the Thursday route. So anyways, um, so whenever we got stuck with a freaking recycling uh, or with a truck that had recycling on it, we would, I was, I almost every time I had to go all the way to Alpharetta just to dump it. So we go all the way back and, um, Yeah, we, we, I'd go all the way to Alpharetta. We, we pretty much were guaranteed to finish at 8 or 9 p.m. At, at night if this pretty much continued. Um, luckily, with my last, um, I want to say, two or three weeks, yeah, my, my last month there, they finally put me into, um, or they, they finally gave me a truck that didn't have recycling the day before. That way I can keep going. Um, and that, that was pretty much it. It was either um, go do recycling or basically dump the recycling uh, or, you know, start the route and uh, mix the recycling with the first like a couple of neighborhoods of trash and it would almost immediately pack out after we get done um, like with after our uh, I want to say third or fourth neighborhood it would almost like immediately pack out we'd have to be like we gotta go we can't pick up the next uh, the next neighborhood so we can like pick that neighborhood up and never have to worry about that specific neighborhood if we can just keep going you can get that can and then just keep going but no, we had to, there were a few times where we would just pack out right there in the middle of this neighborhood, not being able to do anything and then having to let, turn around and get going. Uh, I remember um, somebody had called us one time when we um, unintentionally passed their can to go turn around to go dump. They called the company and said, hey, you, uh, you, you missed me. And then uh, I had to tell them we did. Uh, well, I didn't like not them, but I had to tell my boss we didn't miss them. We packed out again. So you know we'll be back here in a bit. So in those cases, it wasn't that bad because we can always um, go back into that neighborhood and continue our route. But it would be really annoying to have to like finish that neighborhood and then pack out in this other neighborhood and not even, um, you know, get these guys on the side of the road. So it, it was just really, excuse me, really annoying to get uh, this route in general. So I was particularly glad they finally got me out of a truck that had recycling and gave me a truck that didn't have recycling and then just continued. Uh, the Friday route, I, um, was, was my most favorite route and, uh, it was the only recycling route that I had to do. So, you know, it was a, it was very, very nice route, very fun route to do. Um, I do, uh, know that there's like one neighborhood like that we had to get every single house and it was the biggest neighborhood um on the well i wouldn't say of all the routes but like it was the biggest neighborhood that took uh with me and a guy at least a good two hours to do so you know it was it, it was all good so we would basically be finished by 1 p.m and there was, in some cases, where, you know, we're going to finish early. Why, why don't we just take a break, 
for 30 minutes. We'll go dump and then we'll keep going. And then there was a couple other cases where the guy beside me was like, look, we're going to finish at one, right? Let's keep going, dude. Let's keep going. Let's just keep going. Not even uh, keep going. If we got to dump, then we'll dump. Maybe take, uh, we'll, 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 then we'll take a break. And then let's keep going. And I understood because, you know, get done at one. It's sometimes, I know the fastest we've ever got done was 1245-ish. Uh, it was around noon. So I know it was like past noon. And uh, that's, that wasn't without a 30 minute break. So, you know, without a 30 minute break, we can get done with, with uh, the Friday route very easily. Unfortunately, because I was getting done with this route very, very quickly, they um, basically put me into a side loader, which is a story for another day. But short, uh, long story short, which I'll go into more detail maybe next time, but I basically had to learn how to drive a, um, a side loader, which wasn't that bad. It was basically driving... Um, on the right side of the vehicle and then learning how to like drive standing up which i got pretty good at near the end of uh, my career at uh, waste management like i do distinctly remember my last month um that i was pretty much a pro at driving this but almost every time i was in it i would finish like really late like at around um five o'clock it would be like getting close to sunset so i would be uh, i would almost be like man this sucks i could be at home right now but it's five o'clock you know i need to tell uh, kelly that i'm not going to come to the show so I'll just keep going at this point it was it was a uh, it was like pretty stupid to be honest but at the, end of the, uh, at the end of the day, it got done. So, yeah. Um, so, those were my routes. Um, oh, I don't I don't think I, um, I told you guys where my Friday route was. And I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and explain the Friday route uh, in a little more detail. We went to, um, my Friday route was around the Alpharetta area. It was around the northish side of Alpharetta. So, um, I really, really liked this route because it was the only route where, um, where you really got to see these beautiful, beautiful houses along uh, a specific road. I can't remember what road it is, but it was along this road, and um, I was sitting here on this route, just you know, gazing at these houses. And then my mentor uh, Donovan sitting here, like, so if you could choose any house to live in, what house would you choose? So I have three houses off of that route that if I were to live Anywhere in Alpharetta, it would be one of those three houses on that route, that one specific route. So, you know, I don't know. I think it was uh, it was pretty nice. So, it's a really nice area. I really enjoy it. So, you know, it was it was good. All right. So that was um, my piss poor explanation on the routes. And, um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know I did. I know, um, I know there, uh, a lot of people have been asking me about my time at waste management and, uh, I've, I've been wanting to, uh, to share the stories of my time at waste management. So I think, um, the next video 
will be a little little bit about each and every route. So maybe the next video I'll talk a little bit about some stories that happen along each and every route. So, you no, know, there's that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it again. Um, if you did, leave me a subscribe, leave me a like, leave me a comment or whatever. So yeah, that's that. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.